All right, to our running back, Christian McCaffrey, um, a great running back. Definitely in my top five uh, running backs in the NFL. Um, he just signed a deal. Let's see. Let's say Panthers, uh, just ESPN article. Panthers make, let me see, let me turn the volume down. It says Panthers make uh, McCaffrey NFL's highest paid running back. I'm gonna just uh, read the article. Yeah, I've been doing videos researching. I'm tired. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna read it man, verbatim. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. This is uh, Adam Schefter. Uh, Adam Schefter and um, David Newton. I just want to give credit to them. I'm on ESPN.com, so go check the website out. Um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Carolina Panthers star Christian McCaffrey is signing a four-year extension, uh, averaging 16. Point, uh, yes, I'm sorry, 16 million per year, making him the highest-paid running back in NFL history. Sources told. ESPN, uh, Dallas Cowboys running back, uh, Ezekiel Elliott have been NFL's highest paid running back at 15 a year, so he beat him by 1 million a year. Jets running back, Le'Veon Bell now ranks third with 14.1 million a year. Uh, the deal includes a five-year option, a source told uh, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, including the two uh, years left on McCaffrey's uh, rookie deal and the option. The deal is expected to pay out around 75 million over six years. And this is McCaffrey talking. I'm so excited uh, to continue my career in Carolina. And he said, I want to thank Mr. Uh, David Tepper, Marty Herney, and Coach Matt, Matt Ruley, uh for the opportunity to help lead this great franchise and to call all my teammates for their help. Uh, I mean, she said all his teammates for help along the way. And the Panthers fans uh, keep pounding. Uh, he turned 24. In, uh, I'm just about to summarize now. The extension ties McCaffrey, basically, he, he won't turn 24 until June 7th. Um, so basically, all through 25, 20, uh, 25 season, he'll be 24. He was in the fourth year's rookie deal. The Panthers didn't want to enter into uh, the season with uh, McCaffrey's future in question, basically. Um, they, they were 5 and 11. They're going to be in rebuild mode for sure because they, they traded Kyle Allen, uh, they cut Cam Newton. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is a good, serviceable quarterback starter. Um, let's see. But that's pretty much it. Um, I got to tell you what he did last year real quick. Um, well, not, not just last year, but basically, um, his first year he put up 435 yards in 16 games. He only started 10 out of 16. And then, um, McCaffrey put up, uh, 1,900, 1,098 yards, uh, receiving with seven touchdowns in 2018. This is second year. And then he had 867 uh, rushing I and mean, receiving yards and six touchdowns receiving. And then uh, he had 1,387 yards, 15 touchdowns uh, rushing. Then receiving, he had 1,005 and four touchdowns. So basically, he had 19 touchdowns and about 2,000, about 2,500 all purpose yards. Um, yeah, so he bought out, man. That was his third. Like I said, he, uh, that deal won't start to his fifth year. It's his rookie year is uh, four years, I think. So next year is his last year of his rookie deal, but they didn't want him to go in the free agency or nothing. So they smart. Uh, even though they have rebuild mode, McCaffrey going to keep people in the seats. He going to even get to a couple wins. I don't care who you got on your team. He's that impactful. But, yeah, that's it, man.